pro cyclists ride at ridiculous paces. They can average speeds of over 50 kilometers an hour or 30 miles per hour for hours at a time when riding on the flat. To the rest of us, even well-trained amateurs, these speeds are unthinkable. But there's a thing with cycling, drafting or slipstreaming, where you sit behind another rider, allowing them to take most of the air resistance for you, meaning that you can go at a faster speed for less effort. The question is, if I can draft behind a pro, at what speed will I get dropped? Well, we've got a monster pro, so let's find out. Interestingly, drafting behind your friends to save energy isn't unique to cyclists. We didn't even invent it. It's commonplace in nature. Fish do it when they swim in shoals or flocks of birds or even dolphins in the bow waves of ships. I'm so much fun at parties. People love my facts. Scientists have attempted to measure drafting and understand it better by doing wind tunnel experiments and computational fluid dynamics. But out in the real world, it's, it's a pretty hard thing to do because there are so many variables. So that's why we have Alexis here today. Alexis Brunil is our pro. He's ridden for the World Tour teams Groupama FDJ and UAE Team Emirates and now rides for pro gravel team Groove Gravel. He's 70 kilograms and has an FTP of 400 watts, which is cycling geek talk for really strong. He's also French. I, on the other hand, never rode for UAE Team Emirates or any pro team for that matter. I do weigh about the same as Alexis. I, I just have considerably less power. Let's find a straight road. Alexis is going to ramp up his speed first to 40 kilometers an hour and then on to 50 and beyond. I'm going to try and sit behind him and hold it as best I can. I'm just going to activate dropped cam. We're on, we're rolling, right. It's okay? Yeah. Right, Alex. Let's go. Good luck. Go. Oh, can't clip in. There you go. Right, on to 40k an hour. Oh, and I'm having to do about two, well, 300 watts now, 40k an hour. So a slight downhill, it's easing off a little bit. Right, easy, you know? Yeah, 50k an hour, it's good. <laughs> Maybe we need to push more. getting harder and harder and at this point I was struggling to talk. I'm just concentrating on holding the wheel as long as I possibly can. Ah, the rise is hard! 
You can see here, I've got ridden off the wheel doing over 500 watts. Ridiculous. Morty! Oh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. nice. It's so fast. Yeah. What power were you doing? Uh, at the finish, 520. But uh, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, fast it's nice power. <laughs> yeah. On at the start, about 250 watts. Yeah, yeah. And then it was like well over 300. And then it was when it was on going up the, whenever the road goes yeah, slight yeah, uphill, yeah. Yeah. a lot harder. Yeah, like yeah. almost then I have to do like 500, yeah. 450 watts. Yeah, and after when you take some one, two, three meters, yeah. you take the bad uh, wind, you know, yeah. and... Uh, the yeah. elastic brakes. Yeah, 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 the elastic brakes. That's the thing, when you're right on the wheel, it's a lot easier than when, yeah, like you say, just three yeah. meters and it's, or just yeah, even yeah. just, uh, you know, two meters, yeah, a yeah. meter and a half is not the same as right. No, it's not the same. Yeah, just, just in general drafting on a flat road, like not with yeah. crosswinds, do you see like a difference in, do you notice a difference in the size of the gap? Yeah, the front yeah, wheel yeah, the back yeah wheel? for sure. For, uh, because uh, some guys has maybe to scare, you know. Mm. When you are in the pro uh, peloton, you know, you, you know to all the guys as pro. Yeah. You, you know to ride uh, correctly, you know. But when you are in amateur, sometimes you have some uh, bra too much brake, uh, uh, braking uh, elastic, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it's that and yeah, you are more confident in the pro peloton. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I, well, I think you should be a pursuiter because we just did four and a half kilometers in five minutes um, on road bikes with wind. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's plus rapide. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, hope you found that interesting. We just, as we rode back a bit more, we just did another experiment along here. And although the sort of science says that just two riders, the one behind should be, as a rule of thumb, around 30% less power um, for the given effort, we found that that wasn't the case as we were just shouting each other's powers at each other all the way along here. And while scientific studies into drafting are very valid and, and they give a lot of useful information, what they don't take into consideration are, well, the varying sort of weather that's constantly coming at you, the changing wind from all directions, which has a bearing on things. But I think more importantly than that, the human factor, because, you know, they have two riders in a wind tunnel or something that are fixed, whereas, or when you're modeling in CFD, they're fixed. And, it's, it's not like that in real life. You know, there's a real skill element to drafting, which I think shouldn't be underestimated. And I want that to be the takeaway uh, for this video, for anyone watching it. You know, you can save more energy by being more skillful at closing that gap and holding a smaller gap. So, well, I hope you found this interesting. And if you have, then please uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, especially if they're always wheel sucking you. And um, if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, let us know in the comments. And I'll see you again. Love you. Bye.